Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another meal prep video. Today is going to be a pretty simple meal prep. I'm just going to prep some lunches and then I'm going to do like one thing that can go along with my breakfast. Um, first up, of course, we're going to be chopping up some veggies. So I need some bell peppers for snacking on and also to air fry for my quesadillas, which is what will be for this week's lunch. And let me tell you guys, I can't believe it took me this long to make quesadillas because they are so good. It's like one of my favorite things ever. Anyway, so we're going to chop up pepper. So I'm doing a half of a bell pepper will be for my snacking with dips and whatnot. And then the other half will go into the air fryer. So I'm going to go and cut that up. Then I have a cucumber I want to get cut up. And then I need to cut up the chicken that I'll be using for my quesadillas. Would you stay till the morning light? Or would you follow me? Or would you let it be? If I leave tonight, we could do this right. We'll find the remedy. Or would you stay with me now till the morning light? Before you turn away, I just want you to know that I didn't throw your stuff away. Before you make up your mind that I'm nowhere to find, I'm standing right here. These are all ready to go. I'm going to put the bell peppers in the air fryer. And then next up, we're going to make some apple oat muffins. Look at these. So I'm going to pair these with like a yogurt and like a banana, and that'll be my breakfast. These came out so, so good. So to put these together, we are going to need uh, two cups of oats. And I just using the old fashioned rolled oats, but you only want to put one and a half cups into your blender cup or whatever mixer, whatever you're using, and save a half of a cup because we're going to roll, we're going to fold that in later on. Then we're going to add in some sugar-free syrup, and I'm just using the Lakanto sugar-free syrup. You guys know which one I normally use, um, but use any kind of sugar-free syrup. The original recipe calls for honey, so if you want to use honey, go ahead. Um, I have, I am almost out of my sugar-free honey, and they don't sell that anymore, the kind I like to use, so I'm just using the syrup. Um, you need two teaspoons of vanilla, which I ran out of vanilla, so I had exactly two teaspoons, so <laughs> yay for that. Then we're going to put in a two teaspoons of a cinnamon, so I'm not really measuring that. I'm just kind of putting some in there, but you could use cinnamon pumpkin, pumpkin pie spice. If you have apple pie spice, that would be really good in this as well. So I'm just going to do that. And then we need to add in our baking soda and baking powder. So you want to do a teaspoon of each. I will link the original recipe down in the description box. I did double the recipe because the one that it made was just a small batch and I wanted to make a full like 12 muffins. So um, I did double that. So you, like I said, you can check out that recipe, but just keep in mind I doubled it and I did make a few modifications on it. So I'd put the um, teaspoon each of baking powder and baking soda. Then we're gonna do four eggs and put those in there. Um, one of the substitutions I'm making is that had you do like one full like apple, chop it up, peel and dice it, chop it up and put it into the blender cup and then blend it all up. But I thought, why not just do uh, unsweetened applesauce? So that was one modification I made. So I'm putting in the four eggs, then the six tablespoons of plain non-fat Greek yogurt, two tablespoons of light butter. I'm just using, I can't believe it's not butter light. And then I'm putting in a container of unsweetened applesauce. So again, like I said, this is just a modification I'm making. And I did slice up an apple though. And I'm gonna fold that in later on with that other um, thing of oats. And then that way my apple is still kind of chunky within the, within the muffin. I just kind of prefer that. So that is a few things that I changed. So I'm gonna go ahead and blend this up until it's nice and um, smooth. And then I'm just gonna pour that into a, another bowl here. And then I'm gonna add in my apple, add in those oats, and then go ahead and add in the blended mixture and just give that a good stir till you can get your apple all mixed up in there in the oats. So I don't, 
I think it was just to, the oats, the reason why they had you keep out some was just so you kind of had that texture of the rolled oats. So I think that quick oats would probably work on this, but I really do highly recommend the old fashioned oats whenever you're baking, just because they keep their structure a little bit. Quick oats are a little bit thinner and they're, um, and you're kind of making an oat flour out of this really is basically what you're doing. So I'm gonna give this a good stir and then I'm gonna use my silicone muffin pan um, but you can use just a regular big casserole dish and you can just slice it up into pieces. Um, but I just figured it'd be a lot easier with this and I'm going to do 12 muffin cups. So I'm going to go ahead and do that evenly. I'm just using a quarter cup, but then I just went back and I filled it in. And no, I'm not nice and neat like some of those people you watch. <laughs> and this is going to go into 350 degree oven for 20 minutes and it took exactly 20 minutes. Mine did. The recipe said 20 to 30 minutes. Mine was 20 minutes and it was done. Just take a toothpick, make sure it's done in the middle and they smell amazing. And I did try one and they're really good. I will have the points and everything up on the screen. I believe um, one muffin is, I believe, 97 calories and one point. And if you have two muffins, it goes to three points. So I feel like it's a really good thing. Like I said, I'm going to pair it with, though, a yogurt and like a banana or some sort of fruit or something. So I think that'll make a really good breakfast. Next up, we are going to make our lunch, which is going to be quesadillas with some cauliflower rice and a quesadilla sauce. It's supposed to be like a copycat Taco Bell sauce. Look at these quesadillas, y'all. Let me show you how I put everything together. So first, we're going to go ahead and make our sauce. Um, I'm going to use a half of a cup of plain non-fat Greek yogurt. The original recipe I will have linked down below uses half mayo and half sour cream. So you could use like a light mayo and like a light or fat-free sour cream as well, but plain non-fat Greek yogurt is zero points and I feel like it tastes just as good. So I definitely didn't miss the texture of mayo or anything. We're putting in a tablespoon of juice from pickled jalapenos. And if you want to add in some jalapenos, you can. I actually forgot to do that. Um, but anyway, so you can do that. So one teaspoon of cumin. And then we're going to do one teaspoon of paprika. I'm just using a smoked paprika. I don't think it matters which kind you use, but I just I like the taste of the smokier paprika. So we're going to use one teaspoon of that. I forgot to put the cayenne in, so you can see the cayenne back there. I completely forgot to add that. Um, we're going to do a, a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder. And then if you do want to put cayenne, just put an eighth of a teaspoon or a dash or something like that. Also putting in one and a half teaspoons of sweetener, but let me tell you, this turned out a little bit too sweet for me, so I would only do one teaspoon of sweetener. I think that is plenty, so just keep that in mind. For my taste, I feel like it came out a little bit sweet. Um, so I put it, blended it all up, and then I put it in my little containers here. I just did six of them, and now we're gonna make our cauliflower rice. So you guys know, I show you kind of like different variations of my Mexican cauliflower rice, like. I swear like every other week because I eat some sort of like Mexican food I feel like every single week. Um, so I have two bags of cauliflower rice here. Added in some frozen onions to that. And I have the heat kind of on like medium high right now because I like to get kind of a little texture on the cauliflower rice. So I'm going to add in a can of Rotel tomatoes. So there's something a little bit different than what I've showed you before. I'm going to do um, a six ounce can of tomato paste in there as well. And we're going to give that a good stir. And then for seasoning, again, I still have not made my homemade um, DIY taco seasoning, but I have this blend from Kinder's that I found at Grocery Outlet. Absolutely love it. So I'm going to use some of this stuff. So I'm just called the taco blend, I believe is what it's called. There's no fillers or anything in it, which is what I love. So it's zero points gonna mix that up and then we're gonna kind of let this simmer a little bit as you guys know I let it like kind of sit there and get kind of crusty on the bottom and it just kind of fries it up just really reminds you of like fried rice and now that when that's all done I'm gonna add in a can of drained and rinsed black beans again this is something different than what I've done before so we're gonna do that I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the containers while I'm getting the stuff for the quesadillas ready so I have a four containers here I'm actually making eight four for myself and four for my son. Um, but I'm just gonna go ahead and make up four for him to grab and go and take to work. Me, I come home from work for lunch and so I don't need to have mine all ready to go, but I wanna show you how you can put them together. So I have one cup of that rice and some of the uh, quesadilla sauce. Okay, here we go. We have our air fried peppers. I just put it in my air fryer at 400 for seven minutes. We have the chopped up chicken, cilantro, and cheese and 
some green onions. So I just have one of the La Bantarita tortillas, which are only 1.45 calories. I just spray my pan with a little bit of cooking spray. I'm using a quarter cup of the Velveeta cheese, so that's one serving of the cheese. Going to spread that all over the tortilla, that way you get some on the bottom and some on the top of your quesadilla. And we're going to put on some chicken on that. This chicken is zero points because it's just plain chicken. It's just the frozen kind that's already pre-cooked, um, but it scans as zero. So I'm going to add that in there. Some of the air fried peppers on top of that. Again, the peppers are zero points. This whole quesadilla with everything, with the sauce, with the cheese, with the cauliflower rice is only three points and you get one back for the cauliflower rice. Um, I'm adding on some green onions, some cilantro, and then we're just gonna kind of fold that over until it gets cooked on one side. We'll flip it over and then I'm gonna make up eight of these total. Like I said, four for myself and four for my son. Um, I'll have other things for lunch throughout the week as well, but he works a four day work week, so. Um, for him, he just needs four. So we're going to go and make eight of those total, and then we're going to put our preps all together. And again, like I said, I had this for lunch today. Such a good lunch. Why did it take me so long to do quesadillas? So look at that. I will reheat mine in the air fryer, and he'll put his probably in the microwave, but I'll just throw mine in the air fryer for just a few minutes so it's just nice and crispy. And there you go, guys. So like I told you, a very simple meal prep this week, but I gave you a really good breakfast idea and a fantastic lunch idea. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's meal prep, and I'll see you guys in the next video. I have lots of videos coming out this week, y'all. It's like every day this week I have something for you. So hope you guys enjoy all the videos I'm putting up, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.